Hey, how's it going, YouTube friends? It's me, your one furry boy, Never. And you're watching The Never Show. Yes, the only show with lemon scented limes, lest I forget. And the only show with a supernatural, super awesome third eye. I mean, why ask why? Why wouldn't you want a third eye? And yes, it is Wednesday again, my friends. And that means you've clicked on that impeccable thumbnail. You know exactly what movie I'm reviewing. So let's get right into that right now. And today's movie is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It is a PG-13 movie. It is two hours and eight minutes. It is an action-adventure sci-fi. I'm going to say it's a little long, but I did an ADD, which is a good thing. When you can follow the action, it keeps you the pace as well, and you don't fall off. You can say that it's a decent movie. Uh, director is A.J. Boya. Uh, writers were Derek Conley and Colin Turval. I am terrible with names. If I'm mispronouncing names, let me know in the comments. Um, based on the books by Michael Crichton. Uh, yeah, he's the dude who wrote Congo. I remember that. <laughs> it's pretty much the only thing I remember about that guy. And he wrote the original Jurassic Park things. Uh, Chris Pratt, the man who is not afraid to pray to God as Owen Grady. Bryce Dallas Howard as Claire Deer Deerling. Uh, why do they keep dragging these people back to this island? You know, the whole volcano is destroying the island thing and threatening to destroy the remaining dinosaurs that are still there. Yeah. They keep going back. Raphael Spall is Eli Mills. Justice Smith as Frank Webb. Daniela Pintero Pintola as Isa, Isa Rodriguez. James Conwell as Benjamin Lockwood. Toby Jones as Mr. Eversall. Toby is one of those people in the movie that you're, you, you expect to like slink away and survive. And at the end of, you know, it all, he does get eaten. And it is hilarious. Uh, Ted Levine as Ken Wheatley. Jeff Goldblum. I feel like Jeff Goldblum has just become the narrator of the series now. His whole thing is non-linear, and it gets really frustrating because you don't know whether he's reporting to Congress after the fact or before the fact, because it's a little confusing. B.D. Wong is Dr. Wu. I love him. He keeps, you know, it's a surprise that he is not a villain. He's just some guy trying to reach an end, and it's super, he's super hell-bent for leather make dinosaurs i guess Janelle chaplin is isis isabel sermon as marie lockwood uh, i love isabel she is just so cute in this and uh the secrets about her abound it's pretty cool they, they still leave you with a lot of questions at the end of the movie so at least you have to think robin emmis is tech mac peter jason as senator Sh sherwood uh, Kevin Lane as sub pilot. I'm not going to read any more names because you didn't come here to listen to me read names. If you want me to read names, I will surely do that in another video if you tell me in the comments. Production companies are Ambient Entertainment, Legendary Entertainment, Perfect World Pictures, Universal Pictures. Our distributor here in the good old United States of America, God bless America, land that I love, is Universal Pictures. Because this is such a heavily special effects driven movie, there are uh, El Rancho, Joe, Exceptional Minds, General Giant Studios, because 
This was originally a George Lucas project, and they got to bring back Gentle Giant because if you have a George Lucas, even a George Lucas project, you got to bring back Gentle Giant, Ghost VFX, Image, Engine Design, Important Looking Pirates, ILM, because dear God, <laughs> you, you got almost the trifecta. You have almost the trifecta here. All you need is Weta, and they don't got it. They got LiDAR Lounge, little visual effects. Invisible, invisible, one of us output VFX proof and scanline VFX. A lot of things here, and that is all. Um, let's move on to my thoughts on it. Uh, I'm I was really looking for that big blockbuster of the summer, just to be honest with you. I feel like it's just not everything is cracked up to be, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to say it. It is a decent film. I enjoyed watching it. You know, no complaints there. But they keep falling for the same premise. And I'm getting a little tired of it. But uh, Chris Pratt, Charlie Daring together, again, just seemed like it really worked for me. Uh, I love that they kind of have that thing with, with Isabel Sermon. And they sort of come together as a family group. And I kind of like that. It worked for me. Uh, as for the rest of the story, it seems a little implausible, and I can see why a lot of people aren't super happy with this, because it feels like it does go, it's not going anywhere, and you can feel that big setup for that third, fi for third film, because yes, there will be a third film, it has been announced, Jurassic World 3 will come out in 2021, dear God, that just seems like forever from now, for me. If YouTube is still around and I'm still reviewing the movies, yeah, <laughs> I have no idea how old I'll be, but <clears throat> I'll try to hang on for you. <laughs> yeah, Jeff Goldblum's part really, really didn't really, they could have skipped him. Ian Malcolm now is kind of an afterthought in these films, and they just keep bringing him back. I don't know why. It felt... Like, could this be happening after or before? And his testimony to whatever judicial panel he was going to just didn't seem like it may made any sense to me. You know, bring back Jeff Goldblum. Write some stuff so he can wax philosophically and sound important. <laughs> sure thing, boss. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. I mean... There are parts that I don't like, and it does feel a little silly that, you know, <laughs> giant mansion, evil lair thing. You'll have to watch the movie to understand that. It is a 6-6 six, six on IMDb. It is a 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. 61% of people liked it. It is an average rating of a 3 and a 5. So, you know, it's a good afternoon movie, man. It's hot. It's the summer. It's just not the blockbuster you're going to expect. I mean, it's up there, but uh, I'd rather see Incredibles 2 again, just to be honest with you. So, yeah, it is going to be a theater pass for this. Uh, definite TV watch because, you know, I like to watch these movies around Christmas, the big summer movies anyway. And anything to get rid of the whole... We play Harry Potter nine million times during Christmas and Halloween thing. Just to be honest with you, uh, I am gonna buy the DVD because I do have the previous. I do have the previous DVD, and I do have the other DVDs, which I love. You know, except for Jurassic Park three. You know, dear God, what could we do to make the series longer? Uh. <laughs> Just saying, uh, I'm. I really want to see what CinemaSins thinks about this, just because uh, I feel they keep me honest. I look back at movies that I say I liked, and they say, "Up oh, here's the blood in the water," and Big Papa Shark Jeremy comes in and says, "This is the carcass. See this meat over here. This is the tasty parts." <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I can't wait to see what they say about this. Just to be honest with you. Yeah. And those are basically my thoughts on the movie. 
So if you like what you see in here, make sure you hit that like button. It means absolutely nothing in the YouTube algorithm. Other than giving me a big kitty head. And I already got one of those. So don't even worry about it. <laughs> uh, remember, all comments are 100% guaranteed response. Tell me your realities, your fan fictions, your tales of yay, your tales of on me. Tell me why you didn't like this movie. Use those comments, people. I love reading your comments. They get me through the hard times. And they really do enlighten me to what people think about all this. Because this is just my opinion. I want to hear your opinion. It's interesting. Remember, keep it PG. There may or may not be children watching. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> uh, and you know I have to ask. This is how YouTube is done now. Uh, we got an Amazon. We got a Patreon. We could really use your donations at this time. You don't realize how little I have to do so much. We cannot do it without you. Thank you. And if you like what you see in here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell icon. Ring a ding ding. And I will see you all next Wednesday in the next movie review. Bye!